how GPT-40 performs so well compared to all the crazy models out there. So first of all, let's talk about image gen, how image gen actually works the traditional way. So there are two ways to make image generation. One is diffusion auto regressive. I'll just give you the gist of it, like how it works, how stable diffusion, mid journey and all these models work. Let's say this is a very good image of a person. There could be like n steps on this process. So how these images are trained is you give these image, you add some noise on each step. And this is how the neural network is trained. You, we have good images and we just put noise on them until they are like completely noisy images. We will ask AI. Hey, can you generate a man for me from this? So what AI will do, AI will just add noise first because it has been trained to denoise. Like it has been trained from how a good image is converted to a noise. So it will start going from this step to this step. Once you ask AI, it will go from this step to this step. And in the end, it will just come to this step. This is what diffusion will do. It will just keep removing the noise until it has a good image. That's why the final image is never like the same as a real human, because it's just trying to figure out based on its training, like what it should look like. And this is how diffusion works. That's why it's very fast. Like that's whenever you ask mid journey or any other diffusion based models, they can generate four images at a time because they are fast. They can just generate all the pixels at once. And that is the reason why chat GPT's image gen is so slow. It's so slow because of the reason it has to just predict each pixel. So these are each pixels. Now it is not working on diffusion based model. It can have one single step for diffusion. It works this way, which was again, very, very interesting thing for me to know. So, you know, this is how the GPT-40 works. So in GPT-40, each pixel is predicted each single time in each single row. So first this row of pixels will be predicted. This row will be predicted. Then this row will be predicted. And that's why when you are generating this image, you see it just starts from the top and it just goes towards the bottom because it's predicting. And this is why it has more higher accuracy because then it can predict what exact color of this pixel should be based on its training data. It's not diffusion where it's just bringing image out of noise. It's calculating each pixel. And that is why all these texts are so clear. All the Ghibli style are so amazing even like reference of image from one image to another is so unique this is the only reason because it's working on kind of like gpt model the only downside of it is that it is slow that is the only downside otherwise the accuracy will be better on this one we will have diffusion and auto regressive both the models in future for image gen because we obviously need a speed and i think for movies and all uh, for video models diffusion works very great because you can generate multiple frames at once from noise versus auto regressive this will be like slowest model but more accuracy i don't know why i haven't shared this before Four.